What's up, YouTube family? It's Dave Stone again with another live and exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills. Today is part three of sprouting moringas in native clay with no amendments. Uh, and I'm gonna talk to you guys about the germination rate that I've seen now. So, um, and I can compare it to the germination that I've seen uh, with the potting soil that I've been using. So, here we go. And for some reason, this camera gimbal that I got has some weird settings. It doesn't quite do what I want it to. I want it to stay down here and then it keeps panning up. So I'll just let it pan up here. So I want to show you uh, what I got. So this is, I planted these six. Sorry guys. Come on, buddy. There we go. All right, I guess that's gonna work. So I planted these six pots. I put three seeds in each pot and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine out of 18. And I planted these on 730. So it's been uh, basically 19 days. So in 19, it, it takes a little bit longer if you're gonna sprout seeds directly in the native clay. That's what it seems like to me right now. It's taking a little bit longer and there's a little bit less germination rate. So this is a 50% germination rate. I did just, just get this one coming out yesterday or two days ago. So this little guy right, right at the edge here came out yes, or, uh, two days ago. So it seems like they are digging some roots. So maybe it'll take them a little bit longer for all of them to, to sprout out. So I'm gonna continue to water and we're gonna see if I get any more. I don't think I will get any more popping out but there is a chance. This, this one didn't produce any, but this one, you know, here's the cool thing. They're pretty strong. I mean, when I shake them, they're not, they're not like wimpy. So they're in there pretty good. So these ones are coming out really nice. And as you can see, the soil's pretty dry right now. So, um, but this one is coming in. Hey, Mary, what's up Juan Arcos? You see the seed, right? There, it's actually on top of the soil. It just kind of like opened up and shot its uh, tail down into the soil. So it's pretty cool. But these ones are strong. This and this one, all three of them came up. Uh, but this one is having a little bit of curling of the leaves on the bottom. But that's all right. I mean, so is this one. These leaves are shaped irregular. Um, and I think I might have a thrip problem, which is a little bug called a thrip. I think that's what those white dots are on the leaves, but but they, they still have new growth. So I really always focus on the new growth. As long as the new growth is coming in, then it's good. So yeah, that's the update, guys. I just wanted to do a quick update on this native clay moringa because uh, it's really interesting to me, and if we can grow it in native clay, then that's just one more way that we can propagate Moringa. So if you can't go out to Home Depot and buy all the amendments and go on Amazon and buy the rock dust and all the worm castings and stuff, then, uh, then that's fine. Just take some Moringa seeds, and a 50% germination rate is still fine. I mean, you have 10 seeds, you plant all 10 of them, you get five growing. So. Uh, it's really worth it, guys. Um, plant more moringas. Hashtag I want more moringa. Go to face, got Facebook group. Join if you're not a member yet. And uh, if you guys like this video, at the end of this video, I'm going to put on the, the little tags. You can see the other two videos in the series. So you can see from the very beginning of planting the native clay. And now it's been 19 days and we have nine sprouts. So, uh, yeah, guys, if you like this video, give me a big green thumbs up and uh, share this video with the world so people know they can plant moringas directly in native clay in any of the deserts around the west side or all over the United States. There's some deserts, but, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm gonna figure out how to grow it in other climates because I think the interesting thing is a lot of people wanna grow it in the snow when they're living in cold, cold weather. And right now that, is, that doesn't work. So 
unless you have a greenhouse or something. Um, but if the soil freezes, the root will die. So we got to keep the soil from freezing. So if you guys have any clever inventions or ideas, I'm working on a few in my brain right now. Um, let's let's see if we can get moringas to grow in the snow. <laughs> Challenge. Challenge accepted. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, um, until next time, develop awesome skills. Definitely subscribe to my channel because, you know, hey, guys, like I like making these videos. So hopefully you guys like watching them. So uh, um, Facebook, I want more moringa. We're planting 1 million moringas in five years. And I, I have all the numbers in my notepad, so I'm gonna be uh, tallying them up from all the people that have been posting on the I Want More Moringa Facebook group page. I'm gonna let you guys know what number we're at. So, uh, what number do you think we're at? Comment on this video and let me know how, how many moringas have we planted since I think only a month ago or six weeks ago. So, comment your, your guess at the bottom and I'll let you know if you're right. All right, guys, I saw some comments here. Let's see what we got. Solar eclipse. Oh, man, the solar eclipse is happening. That's crazy. Jordan Webb, show your mangoes. Okay. So here's my fruit punch mango right here. This little guy. It's got a lot of really nice new growth on it. It's just shooting out of every top. And then the coconut cream is right behind here. Right there. It's nice, fluffy new growth. So I'll end this video on my mangoes. So I'm going to take this off the tripod. Just for you, Jordan. There we go. I'm going to flip the camera around. New growth. Oh, it's a little shaded. There we go. All right, guys. Until next time, develop awesome skills. I love you all. Thanks, Jordan. These new growth coming in. Like eight or nine branches up here and look at this beautiful leaf all right guys ciao